Hey guys, it's Cindy over Paper Old and New. Um, I am coming to you, um, after not coming to you for a while, with a Thrifty Thursday video. Um, Thrifty Thursday is an open collab hosted by uh, Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. And um, it's a lot of fun when you go out shopping to come on and share with everybody what you bought and how, maybe how you use it or, you know, what your thoughts were when you bought it. Um, of course, her information will be linked in uh, the description box below. And um, I just thought I would share with you what I got. I This is from the Dollar Tree. I went into the Dollar Tree because um, I told you you could get those little styluses there, you know, um, the embossing tools. And you can. Um, I made the mistake of using mine on some, I don't know what I was thinking. I was using it on something that was too hard to to score and it cracked the metal piece through the plastic. So I went in there just to pick up another embossing tool and you, you know that that's not possible, right? So I went in there and of course they've got all the summer 4th of July stuff out and this was sitting there and I looked at it and I went, I'm talking about making gnome journals. I wonder if I can make this a cover. Like he goes down, the middle guy goes down the spine and you fold these guys around it. And there's two sides of course because it's a bag. So, and then there's this fun print in here that I could use for something. I don't know what these bags are made of, but I thought that it was worth a try. So that's why I bought this. I did not actually use buy it to use as a tote. I bought it to use as a book cover. So we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, they've got all the summer stuff out. So when I was going in, they have a bo they had a box of burlap rolls. So I got these kind of beach themed or yeah, look, it's a nice roll of printed burlap. This one's got anchors. Uh, this one's got uh, starfish, I would guess is what those are supposed to be, right? Uh, and then just stripes, and then this one's just plain, which, you know, it never hurts to have plain for background and whatnot. So yeah, I got those. Uh, once again, you know me, guys, um, I have to stage. And then, of course, they had fabric. So, um, again, it was nautical or beach fabric, because, like I said, they've got all their summer stuff out. So, we had some anchors again. And... Um, like ocean with mermaids. Not a huge mermaid person, but you know, who knows? And then there's this ocean one with seahorses. And then we have these that are kind of simple. Well, no, this one's not, this has got lighthouses. I love lighthouses. <clears throat> I don't know when you're gonna be seeing this Thrifty Thursday video, but when I'm filming it, I'm still recovering. So if my voice sounds a little that's why. I love the lighthouses. Guys, that's one of my favorites. And then there's this one. I thought the anchors went good with the burlap, and then this one goes with those. I mean, it's almost the same print. So, yeah. Sea stars, starfish, whatever you want. And then they had some really cute tissue paper. Now this one's just great. I, I like, I wanted the silver. I like this pattern. Um, but this, I thought this was really pretty. Can you see that with the like orange daisies and then the polka dots? Um, and it said there's four different designs in this one. It says eight sheets. So I'm assuming there's two sheets of each. I'm hoping there's two sheets of each. I don't know if that's the case. I can't remember if I've ever bought uh, Dollar Tree tissue paper so that I know how they pack it. Um, so yeah, I don't know if the gnomes are going to end up in my thumbnail, guys.
Okay, and then I got, I got one more thing of this crocheted, but I just love that stuff. So whenever I go in Dollar Tree, if they have it, I get a roll. I'm just gonna put that away. That doesn't need to be in thumbnail. That was extra. Okay, now the other thing I got was in there. Okay, now here is the the st the um, embossing tool. I was telling you. I mean, it's not like you don't know what an embossing tool looks like. But what I did was I pushed too hard with this, and it cracked the white plastic, and this just so it didn't work anymore. So I was in there, and I mean, they're probably more cheaply made than the ones you buy at the at the um, like Hobby Lobby and stuff, the ones that are more expensive. They're probably more cheaply made than that, but I mean, for a buck twenty-five, I and I got two, and then some other tools I got while I was in there. They had the like glue spreaders or scrapers, so I got a couple of those, and then I got a pick. Hopefully, for picking like um. Like people use them to pick the washi stickers and stuff. Hopefully that. Okay, and then they had um, more gem things to put on. So they had the blue and red pearls, and then they had these teal pearls. Oh, that was my receipt. You guys don't need to see that, do you? Uh, and then that was, and then they had the teal pearls, which I thought would go good with these. So they had those, and then they had red gems, which I don't have red. I have gold and blue and pink, so I got red. And then I thought these were kind of neat. I've never used these before. I got them in gold and teal. They've got the pearl in the middle and then the rhinestones. I'm assuming, I mean, I can see that it's on some sort of a backing or they're strung together or something. I'm assuming if I wanted to, I could separate them and use them however I wanted. But I just thought they were kind of neat and I figured I'd give them a try. Um, the one thing I will say is, is if you take a whole flower, uh, the next flower is going to be missing a dot if you only use, I mean, that's the only thing I noticed. It would be a downside. This is going to be rough, guys. Um, now, some of this stuff I just might not put in the thumbnail. I got some little cutting mats. I thought these were great. You know how I'm always tucking them in books to cut in altered books or like whenever you want to tuck it somewhere to cut something. I just thought these would be great. And that, and if, you know, I go upstairs and I want to cut small stuff or something like that while I'm in front of the TV. So they had these cutting mats and for a buck 25, I figured they are def they would definitely be useful. So I got a couple of those. Oh, and I found this. This was like burlap trim. Well, that's exactly what it says. It's burlap trim. So you have this one that's kind of a wavy. Oh, they're all kind of wavy, actually. This one's kind of scalloped. And then this one's um, yeah, like a zigzag stitch. Anyway, so yeah, I found that. I thought that was cool. I'll hold on to that acetate. That's pretty clean. Uh, I did get a couple of composition notebooks to make um, glue books or something out of because, you know, I did the glue books. And plus, look at that paper. Um, I think it's recycled, so it's kind of got a gray, almost a gray tint to it. And then it, you can see, like, fibers and stuff in it. I just thought it was really neat. I don't know if they're both like that. No, they're not. Although this paper is kind of... I don't know if you can see. Can you see that iridescent purple? I'm not really sure why that does that. Okay. Blue light paper. Uh, these probably won't be in the thumbnail. So I don't have to worry about staging those. Um, oh, and then I found these. I don't know if you can see. Can you see them? I know they're, they're um, laser cut. Uh, like pieces of... It's not wood and it's not chipboard. It's, um, I forget what it's called. It's almost like paneling. I'm pretty sure. 
but um, they had though they had them like this, and it comes with two of each design. So you get the scallop shell, the seahorse, and the turtle, and then there's an octopus, a dolphin, and uh, that kind of the spiral shell. And um, I just thought they would be really neat to decorate uh, page corners with, or um, you might even be able to put it like if you're doing a cover and you wanted like a little focal point with some ruffles and stuff around it, you could put one of these there. Um, I just thought they were really fun. They had more, um, but you know, and the idea behind the Dollar Tree is that it's not expensive. So if you go in there and buy too much and you end up. Oh, and um, PVA glue to mix with water to do decoupage and stuff like that. I just got a bottle of water. There. Okay, now uh, I went into Hobby Lobby specifically for um, post-bound scrapbook page protector refills. You guys know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do. Um, because they were on sale this week. And what I found out was all Paper Studio stuff was on sale this week, so I got some stickers. Um, I'm, I'm leaning more towards vinyl and um, uh, washi stickers more so than paper stickers just because I'm, I, I got a bad taste in my mouth for the white borders, guys. I just can't. So these ones, this was called Moody Floral, and this one is kind of similar. I think I got a pad that goes with this, a pad of paper, I mean, that's called moody floral so i thought maybe these would go with it um and there's all kinds of pretty flowers in here and butterflies and you know they're very small though so it's going to be um stuff you use to accent stuff pages and whatnot um this one says it looks supposed to look like pressed flowers I was really kind of disappointed because the packs of vinyl stickers that I got before that were big, like this big, were gone. I couldn't find them. I don't know if they stopped selling them. If they did, I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of sad because these are small. So like when you want something nice and big to take up space, they didn't have anything anymore. So I was kind of sad. So yeah, anyway. So yeah, these do kind of look like pressed, pressed flowers, some of them. So I got that one. Oh, and of course I got this one because it's got a, a sheet of sunflowers in it. And I'm just looking for some things to finish off the decorating in the sunflower journals. I'm, I'm getting there guys. And we'll do a flip through soon of all four of them. Uh, well, there I opened right to it. What do you know? Uh, it's like little versions of the chipboard pieces that I got. Because, of course, it's made by Paper Studio, so, you know. And I think they sell all of, they, they sold all of these in packs of chipboard. They look like, so, you know, this was a chipboard set I got. It did not include daisies. So, like, these daisies that are on here, I don't know if you can see that. Like, this grouping wasn't in there, but this grouping without the daisy was. Same with this. This grouping... Actually, I don't know if I had any three flower groupings that looked like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I got some vinyl stickers. Oh, and then this one, I like this one. This is an ephemera one. I'm learning what I like to use and what I don't like to use. I don't like the big chipboard die cuts. They're too thick. I don't like them. Uh, that's just personal preference, but I liked this. This was just a book of ephemera things. Oh, look, it has little sunflowers in it. But this was just a book of uh, miscellaneous ephemera pieces, which, you know, that's always fun. I wish I had more sunflowers in it. I guess it only has one. I should have gotten more than one book. Oh, well. Anyway, so yeah, I got those. That was really all I got at Hobby Lobby other than the um, page protectors, which I didn't bring down to show you because everybody knows what page protectors are. Okay, now... Don't we love seeing these packages come? I got a stamp. Hold on. Um, I don't know if I can put this against anything so that you can see it. 
it's a long, I don't have any big stamps like this, big um, like floral type stamps. Um, I will try to go like I did before into my uh, purchase list on Amazon when I post this video and link the these items in the description box. So if you guys like them, you can go find them. Um, but this is a stamp. It's got a big leaf or flower or something up through there. And then it looks like burlap or something in the back and then some writing. So it's kind of a collage stamp, but I really like it. And I actually have a couple of these tall stamps on my um, wish list that I'll go through and order as I get, you know, I don't know. Okay, and then I got, oh, I ordered this. These came as a set, and I love packaging. I've started making covers out of them. These came as a set. These were stickers. I got five boxes. I have not opened any of them, guys, so let's check them out. Like I said, I've been hunting down, like, washi stickers and stickers that don't have big wide white backgrounds on them. I'm telling you guys, I'm kind of, ooh, this is like vellum. It's not, these aren't stickers. It's like a piece of newspaper. This is just stuff printed on vellum, vintage stuff printed on vellum. Um, those are kind of neat. So there's five pieces of that. And then these are uh, deco paper ads. Those are really neat. That looks like a magazine cover. So there's ads. There's five of those in the box. And then the rest of it, I believe, there's a few more stuck in there. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, these are washi stickers. So I got, I don't know what's going on with this one. Oh, this one is, has come unbacked and is curled around on itself and is now torn. Well, I'll have to see what I can do with it. It's an angel holding a, looks like an Easter lily. Uh, but there's all kinds of them in here. Apparently you got to be careful with them though. But I've gotten to where I really love these washi stickers. They don't, I mean, they have a border on them, but they blend better. These are very small. I don't know if you can, am I not showing them close enough? There was this guy, stamp, book. Look at him, very dapper. Can you see his striped pants? Uh, I don't know if you want to go through every single one of these, but you get the idea. So there's faces. Oh, look, there's a comic book face. That looks like old wrapping paper or something. There's a medallion. That's Madonna and Child. There's another angel, medallion, more comic book stuff. I like the, um, that's very interesting that those are included. Uh... Some of them, they do come off of their backing. So there are spots like this one and there's no piece there. So like, I guess when she got cut out, her backing got torn away. So she doesn't have any backing on her hand. Hey, there's Rosie the Riveter. If anybody knows who she is. Vintage background. So yeah. And then here's some florals. Pretty lady in a frame. Fruit. So, yeah, that's what these are. Now, um, I don't know how much you guys want to go through these. Um, I'm kind of curious as to what's in each box, though. So, I'm. Okay, so we got more. Uh, vellum. 
Those two look the same. Uh, and deco paper. Hey, that's Harry Potter. Oh, there's another one. Wall Street Journal. That one's just a collage page, and then looks like a children's certificate of some sort. <clears throat> so those. Oop. Hopefully they don't cut any of the stickers when I do that. Oh, wait. Speaking of stickers, I didn't take these out of here, did I? That's probably why I had such a hard time. Now, these ones look like they're all square. Yeah, these stickers look all square, so they're like stills, maps, photographs. Oh, well, there's kind of a collage. There's duplicates. All right, let's see what's in this one. They're all different, which I like. So it's like not all the same in every box. Well, that would be kind of boring. You got a set of five boxes and they're all the same. So, oh, these ones are flowers. Oh, airmail, flowers, labels. These are nice. Oh, there's a clock. I'm gonna have some cleaning up to do when I'm done with this one. Okay, wait. Okay, and then these are floral also, or botanical. Fruit. And the deco pages are botanical also. So those will be fun to put on stuff. I would show you the back of the box because there's actually a picture on the back of the box that shows you what's in the box, but it's so small I can barely see it with my glasses on. But this one is all botanicals, it looks like. Flowers against different like back against different backgrounds like that. Uh sorry, I flipped the one backwards. And labels uh of like the perfume variety and things like that. Um, I would tell you what they were called, but, oh, no, flowers bloom on the street. That's what this one's called. So there's that one. This one's called Animal World. You know me, guys. Whenever I get this stuff, I don't open it, and then I open it with you guys on the camera, and we go through it. Uh, and like I said, I'll go to my purchase list, and if you guys, I mean, after looking through this, if you see any of these that you like, you can go, uh, you can click the link. Look at him. You can click that. And the Easter Bunny. Uh, and then boats. I don't see any animals in that one. I mean, I still like the picture. There's, oh. That one actually says Happy Easter. Uh, mostly butterflies here. And then here's a bunny with some watches. One side of this is semi-shiny, and the other side of this is... I guess this is the top. Now, I don't know what Animal World stickers are going to be. Uh, apparently not animals. Well, it's, I mean, it's got a dragonfly on it. That's got a bunny. Not tested on animals. That's good. Yeah, birds. Got a lot of birds. There's no animals in that one. Flowers. Birds. I like this one. Mushrooms. That's definitely not an animal. But anyway, so... And you get a handful of stickers. Each one of these boxes says, um, after that, I guess you get 45 stickers. Because you get about five 
pieces of deco paper, five pieces of vellum, and then it says 55 pieces in the box. So if you get 10 pieces of paper, then you must get about 45 stickers. This last one is uh, Half-Life Memory is what they call it. I don't know what that means. But it looks on the back. The tiny little pictures look like um, stamps and ads and stuff. These are ads. Uh, as are these. They all look like ads. Newspaper, stuff like that. Okay. And then, oh, let's throw that away. And then in the box, the stickers are. Oh, nice. Uh, labels and stamps and things. So that's nice. Now, when I ordered this, if I'm remembering this correctly, I think, like, if you say you like the this box with just the labels and stamps and stuff in it, and you want this particular box, I think you can order them individually. I don't think you have to order them in a set of five. So I don't think you have to order all five boxes. I think I looked at it and decided that it was cheaper to order all five um, than to order them one at a time. So I just said, what the heck? I had uh, gift cards. <laughs> you always love shopping on Amazon with gift cards, right? Okay, so we had that, and then... <laughs> I got a big one, guys. Okay, so I got... These are... Um, like fairy doors. Does that make sense? Well, now I can see. My glasses were sliding down my nose. I keep forgetting that with these glasses, it matters if they're not all the way on my face. Can you see those? Even though they're like little fairy doors or like a doorway with a walkway and four different doorways. I don't know. I thought they were pretty. So I got those. I'm running out of space up top. Okay, here's more stickers. Again, I will um, link these. These are also washi stickers. Love the card. Look, I'm going to pull the card out. Look at that. Is that not like a journaling card all ready to go? If I could get it on camera. Isn't that cute? I always like it when the packaging is a bonus. Okay, so these are foil and washi. Can you see? It's flower. It's like a watercolor floral type of a flower, and then there's the gold foil on it. Oh, look, I got three new sunflowers, guys. To embellish pages with. Some of these leaves are really cute. I like the leaves. So, yeah, these are pretty. I like these. That one's even got a cancellation. This one's got some writing on it. So, all different kinds of new stickers to play with. What else? What else? I got more stuff. Oh! I got, you know, and it's funny because, um, weren't we, um, doing like shot my stash and building a femur? Oh, that's my dryer guys. We've been listening to it. Have you been listening to it clang this whole time? The clicking and whatnot? I don't know. Uh, stickers. Advertising stickers, stamp stickers, collage stickers. Um, I'm pretty sure these are stickers. I do not know. I think I have to cut them out. Oh, no. And I'm not sure if these are... I, I, They came up in my search for washi stickers, but I don't know that these are... Oh, yeah, they are. They're washi stickers. So I got some of these retro black and white. And then back here in the back, we've got collage. And then you've got retro. And then you've got labels. Some definitions. Here's some more black and white. Well, the front of it shows you it's kind of 
the idea is black and white for the most part. So yeah, I got a pad of that. I have another pad, I think, on back order because I thought these pads were kind of neat. Just a pad full of stickers. I'm trying to slip that under there like that. So I have my time to spend. Okay, and then I got This also was a, okay, I'm confused. Oh wait, it's a big old bag. It's a bag of bags. These were little sets of garden, they call them the flower, flower garden series. So each one of them has the same stuff. I think um, just because this video is starting to get kind of long, uh, I'll open one of them up, let's look. So we've got doors, we've got moonflower shadow, distant islands, sunshine garden, might open sunshine garden, dream traveler, and flower manor. So they all are just, um, garden doors. And, oh, I did it again. I keep forgetting to look at the bottom because you usually don't have to tear this piece off. Okay, these are not stickers, but you get these little window frames. Oh, there's another one down here. It's got a really pretty butterfly gate. Can you see that? Uh, this one's called Classical Impressions. Um, but you get these really pretty uh, cut out die cut window frames and they're different in every one you get three of those and then you get doors so you got these doors I guess three of every one uh, these doors <coughs> excuse me Then we got these doors. I ran out of space for a while, guys. <coughs> and then these doors. So I guess all of them have something similar. Um, And uh, again, these were bought as a set. So there's, it says there's 15 pieces, you get three of each. So I guess you get three die cuts and then four different door designs in each one. Um, there also appears to be, oh no, that's on the packaging. I thought there was string in there. I was like, I guess you're supposed to make some sort of tag out of them. So there's all of that. And then I finally went and did it guys. I don't have a tab punch. So I ordered one. Now I can make taps. I'm a little bit excited about that. Let me see. Get it out here. Now it comes with um, stickers. I guess you're supposed to. I don't know. It, it comes with stickers so that you can stick it on the. I mean, but once you line up, I mean, once you run out of stickers, that doesn't really do you any good. So I don't know if I'll use those. You know what you could use those for? I could stick those down to something and make a template so that if I ever don't have my punch or if I want one with a big wide bottom like that, uh, I could make a template out of it. But yeah, so I got a tab punch, guys. And now I'm going to practice using it on folded paper. Like everybody says, just don't um, go all the way to the fold and then clip it and you'll have a double-sided folded tab. So I was really excited to get that. Okay, guys, um, that's going to do it for me for this Thrifty Thursday. I haven't been shopping in a while. Um, I will tell you that um, I am working on my finishing up the Sunflower Journals. You'll see those soon. Um, and 
if you haven't already seen them. I keep doing that to myself where I'll talk to you about something that I haven't um, done yet and then things get all out of order and it's a mess. So I should stop doing that. Okay, well, this was fun. Um, of course, I love shopping. So um, I hope you guys liked this. Uh, again, I will try to link everything that I got on Amazon in my description box. So if you want to head over to Amazon and buy anything for yourself, you can do that. And um, yeah, uh, this stuff is current at Dollar Tree. And um, that's about it. So thanks for stopping by, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.